Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about types of uh, pelvis and uh, their characteristics. So the types we have a gynecoid, android, anthropoid, and the platyperoid. So going in details with the characteristics. So a gynecoid is this is usually a typical female pelvis, which is commonly found in about fifty percent women, and it is rounded slightly oval it has a slightly oval inlet then it has straight pelvic side side walls then it has a pubic arc that is wide so the pubic right arc is wide then ischial spines are not prominent then bone structure is uh, medium so meaning it's not heavy it's just medium as compared to these others, uh, as compared to the android, because the other two are also medium, but the gynecoid is medium, then the android is heavy. Okay, in terms of bone structure, so we are done with the features on gynecoid, so let's go to android. So, android pelvis is typically is a typical male pelvis and is found in about one third uh, white women and uh one, one out of six uh nine white okay then the pelvic brim is arch shaped and uh the pelvis funnel downward from the above and the pelvis funnels down from the above uh, from the above so meaning it's as a convergent side holes so it has convenient eh? side holes meaning it's not straight the side holes are not straight they are convergent they funnel down okay then the pubic arc is narrow and then the ischial spines are prominent then bone structure is heavy then go to uh, anthropoid so anthropoid is 25% uh, it's usually found in 25% white and 50% non-white. Then its pelvic uh, pelvis pelvis brim is oval shaped or you can imagine an upright egg. Then uh, the side doors they are straight as well. So it has straight pelvic side doors. But if you compare it uh, with the gynecoid, you find that for the anthropoid, they are a little bit narrow. The side doors are a little bit narrow as compared to the gynecoid. So, but they all have a straight pelvic side doors. Okay, then the subpubic angle is narrow. Then the so it's medium uh, it's more of a medium narrow it's not entirely very narrow just medium and then the pelvic brim actually has the anterior posterior diameter more than the uh, transverse diameter that's the pelvic brim and then the ischial spines are not prominent as well so ischial spines are not prominent and then the bone structure is medium then finally we go to the platyperoid which is common found in three percent of women so it is a flat female type yeah, kind of pelvis so the pelvic brim is kidney shaped so the shape of the kidney that's how the uh, the pelvic brim looks looks like in a platyperoid then the side doors and then it has a straight pelvic side doors and uh, they are actually very wide so they are straight it has straight side doors straight pelvic side doors but they are they, they are actually very wide okay then it's each sub pubic angle is also wide and uh, the pelvic brim as a uh, trans transverse diameter is more than the anterior posterior diameter so that's the pelvic brim. Then in terms of ischial spines, the ischial spines are not uh, 
prominent then bone structure is medium so bone structure is medium so that's all since i was just wanting to introduce uh, the types of pelvis and uh, thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel and like this video if you haven't subscribed uh, you can subscribe see the end of the tutorial thank you for watching once again see you in the next uh, tutorial